Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Culture. Today we're talking the grilled cheese sandwich. It's not just any grilled cheese, the grown up grilled cheese. Uh, today we're gonna use some pump, uh, pastrami, caramelized onion, some pickle. And then we're gonna make a makeshift remoulade sauce to go with that. So for those who say they make the best grilled cheese, um, stick around, got something to show you. All right, guys, we're gonna get started. As you can see, I already have my challah bread cut. You can use any buttery bread, whether it's brioche, whether it's challah, even, even if it's sourdough. Those are great breads to use because it's the texture that it gives. But today we're gonna use my favorite. We're gonna start with caramelizing the pastrami and we're gonna caramelize the onions. You will hit that with a little Creole. Says the test worn. I guess they who said it looks kind of water. Give it such water because we're the salt and we need pastrami as well. I'd like to get a deep golden color on the uh, the sandwich. Let those bit glares tore out. Holds their place. Now, while that's going on, we're going to make the uh, mayo base. The mayonnaise. Do it. Well, two turns to the clear mustard. One tablespoon of red wine vinegar. We add a couple of dashes of the hot sauce and a little pinch of creole. Right, this is my uh, creole season that you can order on my website. I'm going to leave it in the description box. We'll leave it in the description and the box below, so you can uh, fill up for your order. We'll get a nice mix on the bean. Quick rumble So this is more of a white one on life, so not so much horse right in there. I'm sorry, not so much hot sauce in there. Um they would set that aside. <laughs> so you can see the conversation started to happen. Now I'm gonna melt the cheese to wait. We're not fontina on top of these. The straw meat. And then I'm going to Kobe Jack on top of the holla. But with the sandwich come together, you might have a wooly gooey sandwich that I'll let the door. I just all lay, trying to fire it down a little bit. And so it starts to melt. Now, what that melt to was about to dress out sandwich. Now, I've always seen people use toast the oven. The bread with the butter, so some toasted uh, mayo. So, that means there are different comparisons. They both are the mice, uh, give you a nice crust of texture. About the same time, you uh, can't replace with butter. So, always send a little butter on the Claudius battle. So you used to be doing the crumb nice and nicely. Next, we're gonna layer these piece. I'm gonna just rip this up a little bit. We're gonna have layer this piece with uh, the Kobe Jack cheese. When it was 50s, right in. There we go. Then we hit one side with pickles. Four pickles on each side. Uh, the reason I like to do this sometimes if your sandwich is too thick, it makes it easy for it to melt. You can do it quickly, melt it quickly. And then, because we're gonna melt the cheese anyway, again, so you don't want to take too long. So this is an easy process for room. Always an easy process for me when making grilled cheese. But I do like to put pack it with lots of nice onions. Put your net of white. So 
Devar. Karasam White Earring. Next, we can pair to uh, make the girl chase. Take the butter and I to generously brush it on top. And when I flip it over in the pan, we'll repeat the same step as you will see in a second. And then we're going to repeat the same step just as we did before. So we're going to cook this until a bread, obviously our bread's golden brown. Our cheese is nicely melted. As we got to bang us out. So I always like to keep some about a weight or a press. If you have a burger press or a sandwich press, just like this. If you don't want to pull out the knee press, this is, this works as well. The nice sandwich press. How to really press it down helps cook the bread evenly. It helps really speed up the process to melt the cheese too. So, you see the bottom layer of the cheese is really getting there. So once we put it over, we'll repeat the same steps. All right, guys, it's been going for a minute or so, so there's definitely time for full talk. See all the gooey, gooey madness that's going on with the sandwich. And we'll pull the second one. All right, guys, this is a sandwich that is ready for justice to be served. So, we just can't just let it sit here. Let it do some justice. Nice, even layered. You get some of that light from the pickle. You got some of that remoulade sauce. Of course, you can't go wrong with butter, but the creaminess from the Fontina, the sharpness from the Kobe Jack is uh, giving some light. Like I always say, maximum flavor, minimal effort. You cannot go wrong with this grilled cheese. It's easily satisfied. So if you like this uh, dish, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and try this sandwich. You cannot miss. So you'll find this on my app, Food Culture. You can download it on uh, Apple or Android and happy cooking.